We all have our issues. <laughs> and it basses it, it's no different. That's life. That's life. That's what all <laughs> people say. No tongs, pancake, really. <laughs> this week, I meet a needy poodle who needs his noodle sorting. It'd be great to say to Gladstone Brew. See, I'd go in and him next to you. <laughs> A young plumber terrier who won't share his toys. It's that fun, isn't He's it? He's not going to let go, is he? No. <laughs> and a brave bulldog who just wants a little bit of TLC. Seems to be getting on extremely well. <laughs> oh, baby, I know I love you too. I've only just met her. I'm in the chill-out room, and I'm about to meet ten-year-old toy poodle Woody, who's currently on foster with handler Laura. Hi, is Hiya, this Woody? Paul. It is. Woody, where's that boy? Little toy poodle? Yeah. Come here. Such a lovely boy. <laughs> lovely little face on him. I think the haircut makes him even more it endearing. It does, doesn't it? That, like, <laughs> on Paul, he's got in his head. He's fab, isn't he? He is. He, he really is. is. He's great. Fun. You're very Rod Stewart in the 80s, I have to say. <laughs> And how is he in, on Foss? Is he's he good? a really good boy, but oh, dear me. does have very bad separation anxiety. Like, I can't even leave the room for, like, 30 seconds because he'll cry and want to get to me, as you can see. He's quite needy. Is he destructive or just howls? No, he just, he just barks and cries. Yeah. Joel's quite distressing to hear. What's this with his head he's doing? What's that? He's a bit twitchy. Yeah, so we're not sure. I think he tends to do when he gets a bit excited. And as you can see, he bobs his head and kind of moves his mouth a little bit strange. It looks like he's dancing. <laughs> It'd be great to say he's a gladsome brew, wouldn't he? Because everybody would <laughs> think, oh, he's really in the groove, this one. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Head vet Sean has already done some tests on Woody. Come on, Woody. He's a good boy. In you go. Come on, come on. So we're going down to the clinic to see what he thinks. Who says hi, Sean? But he just, look at him. I wonder if it's just like a tick, an affectation yeah. or something he's got. Really. Exactly. I think you're right. It's a bit of a tick with him. Yeah. His sight's good. His balance seems good. There's no yeah. signs of any neurological problems with him. Good. I think Paul's right. I think we're just looking at some sort of little tick. A learned behaviour that he's had for yeah. years. I think we can live with that. I yeah. think, I'm sure he can. Well, that's a relief, Woody. Your twitch is nothing to worry about. His only problem is he's needy. And we need to sort that out before Laura, or his new owner, can have a minute's peace. I'm just mad about saffron. Oh, saffron's mad about me. Now, while some dogs like Woody... <laughs> ..let everyone know when they're feeling out of sorts, there's the ones who don't like to make a big fuss. They call me Mellow Yellow Like two-year-old bulldog Leah They call me Mellow Yellow Who's got a condition called Cherry Eye They call me Mellow Yellow Hiya, Joe. How's it going? All oh, right. Who's this beauty? There we go. We have Leah for you today. Oh, is she lovely? Hey, Leah. Let's have Who's a look that? at you. Oh, and she a lovely girl? Is this eye painful? It looks very irritable, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, what a shame. Cherry eye occurs when a gland from the dog's third eyelid prolapses, and bulldogs, I'm afraid, are prone to it. She does have a vet appointment if you wanted to take her down. OK, I'll yeah. take her, yeah. Leah, do you want to come with me to the VET? Don't want to freak her out, you know what I mean? Come on, this way. Come on. Good girl. Here we go. Treating Leah as vet nurse Steph. She's really soft natured, old baby. I know I love you too. That cherry eye's nasty, isn't it? You couldn't leave this, could you? No, that third eyelid is very um, important yeah. for protection, basically. Because yeah. it's where tear production is. They can then get secondary sort of dry eye or ulcers. Definitely need to get it fixed. Yay. But before that, Leah has another issue. Itchy, flaky skin. So we need to do a Malacid bar. Ah, so right. it's just a soothing shampoo. That will hopefully just ease that Yeah, itch. stop the itch. Exactly. However, getting a fully grown bulldog in the bath is not that easy. God, she's heavy. <laughs> she's <laughs> very oh, careful. In you go. 
There's a good girl. Thank you, Dave. You stay here. Go on. Okay. There you go. Oh, I can see she's got yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a bit scurvy. Yeah. Scaly. Yeah. What's that? Okay. No, you're not getting get out. No, come on, back in. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, you don't worry, Leah, because I've done this before. Take a chance. It's important to use a dog shampoo, as their pH levels are different to ours. Keep an eye on love, dog, love, keep an eye on love. Oh, are you enjoying that, are you? Oh, good girl. Oh, I should be girl. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Hey, sweetheart. Hello. How was that, eh? Hey? Was that nice? Enjoy that. Look at that face. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> Come here, I'll dry it off. <laughs> oh, you like that, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Next stop for Leah is surgery. To get that eye looking beautiful again. You're a star patient, aren't you? Yeah. All dogs like Leah are often the stoic, silent type. You just wouldn't know they were bothered. But Terriers, on the other hand, well, they're a different story. Be my love, my heart, in the old time, but darling, be my Seven-month-old plumber Terrier Jasper kicks off when anyone goes near his toys or his bed. As long as you belong to me, be my oh, look at this. Aren't you just a beautiful boy, eh? Behaviourist Lucia is intervening now before it gets out of hand. He's got some problems giving up his resources, so like his bed and his toys and things. Oh, really? Yeah, he'll always bring them to his bed and he's very protective about that space. Resource guarding is a survival strategy in the wild. I moved whenever I was close to his bed. It's a very vocal sign that he's uncomfortable with me being around it. But it can be problematic in the home because it can lead to aggression. So he had um, quite a few bite incidences with oh, did people he? in the house, yeah, which is obviously something that we don't want. <laughs> I've seen how he guards his toys inside. But what's he like when he's playing with them outside? Where's that boy? Where's that little boy? Where's that boy? Hey, is he? What me and you can do is just like doing some exchanges with him, exchanging one toy for the yeah. other. Swapping one toy for another should make him more accepting. So, Jasper, how do you feel about giving up your favourite pink bunny in return for a top of the range steamrolled squirrel? Oh, oh my nice lord, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> is that roadkill? I know, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, look at his little face. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, you poor little thing. Do you realise what's going to happen to you? <laughs> Jasper, what's this? Has Paul got your favourite? <laughs> and it seems to be working. Can't half jump. He's toy obsessed, obsessed. isn't he? Obsessed, he loves it. What's Paul got? What's this? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. there we go. There you go. Well, he's certainly eager to learn. <laughs> Jasper sits. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> but he still needs, um, well, a little bit of work. Is that fun, is He's it? He's not going to let go, is he? No, not at all. <laughs> well, I play the Woody is also having problems letting go. And once we get together. Of foster carer Laura. So, today we're going to try and help him love his own company. Hey, little man. You're looking very glam since you've had a hairdo. Knocked years off you. <laughs> so, how's he getting on? It's like my little shadow. I yeah. can't do anything around the house without him being and he's there. there behind yeah. you. Yeah, he is quite foody, so, oh, like, boy. if I put his dinner down, he will sometimes stay and eat his dinner, but, again, I can probably do about 30 seconds before really? he starts crying or barking <sighs> to try and follow me. Because Woody likes his grub, okay. there's something that might just help him. I've got a licky mat with some chappy wet all smushed into it. So you're going to put this down to see if, like, we can leave the room and... Yeah, yeah. that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I can't see it happening myself. And I'm not being pessimistic here, but <laughs> we would this track record. No. Now, 
While Woody's distracted, we're going to sneak out and hope he doesn't notice. Quiet so far. Yeah, but not for long. Yeah, he's kicking off. What's up? Hey? Oh, I'm gone. He's gone back over to it again yeah. now. No, he's eating his food. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at us whispering and panicking <laughs> over a tiny little poodle. I think it's just about having that dedication to building that time yeah. alone. But not sound out of yeah. it. Maybe we're on to something. <laughs> just keep feeding it. <laughs> It'd be like this by the end of the massive. If you're that fast, you won't be able to bark. <laughs> well, it's a good start. Well, I'll never. But we'll have to build up the amount of time he spends on his own before he's ready for a new home. I'll be your friend and I'll lend a helping hand. But you got to try and help yourself before I can. It's been a few days now since I met with Jasper, and he's still being very protective around his bed. Which is a worry, because if we don't resolve his garden issues, then we won't be able to put him in a domestic environment. What we do is stay a good bit distance away from his bed yeah. and start throwing treats to him, yeah. and then we'll gradually get closer. Move up. Yeah, okay. as long as he's nice and comfortable with it. All right. I find lobbing a crunchy on my bed helps, but for Jasper, it's cheese. What we're doing here is showing him that it's not a bad thing that people are approaching his bed. Shall I throw that on your bed? Go on, then. No. Now to approach with the stealth of a ninja. I'll move up a yeah. little bit. His tail's a little bit down, so he's just a little bit unsure. I'd say kind of there's a good spot just to stay. Subtle signs to look out for when a dog's in guarding mode are hard stirring, ears going back and the tail pointing down. So he's a little bit jumpy there, you can see, just yeah. he's a little bit shaky. Yeah. And even if you want to move back a little bit as well, so we're just showing him that we can move away. And look at that tail wag. Eh, hey, on your bed. Nice. Where's that boy? Nice. Come here. Perfect. Here you go. Treats and the calm approach do seem to be working, though. See, he's a lot more comfortable even just, like, exploring the kennel yeah. with you and stuff. Oh, look at him. <laughs> This is it now, um, showing off. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you. good boy. Oh, you're too much, you are. And he's slowly but surely getting there, Definitely. isn't he? I'm coming closer, emotions are showing. Well, I think Jasper could soon be ready for a new home. Fingers crossed. Your pals now. <laughs> Oh, oh you're boy. such a good boy, getting confidence, aren't you? Huh? Falling into love. Lovely Leah has still got a long way to go, and today she's got a big day ahead of her in surgery. Oh, look at you, in no trouble. Look at that big old cherry. That Claire's going to be carrying out the operation. Unfortunately, if you leave it, it can be uncomfortable for the dog, but also can increase the risk of getting infections and conjunctivitis and things like that. So um, it's important that we get it fixed for her today. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. A snoring. The procedure involves creating a pocket in the third eyelid, pushing the gland back in, and securing it with stitches. Easy. Oh, girl. Hopefully, it's all gone well for Leah. Oh, it's snoring away. <coughs> Hello, sweetheart. Oh, it's a bit red, isn't it? Looking at me like, what have you done? Hopefully, Mr. Snorri next door allows you to sleep it off, Leah. Oh, I've gotta make it. I've gotta make it. Oh, 
covering the offices, Woody has been having some time out. From Laura. With the trusted Licky Matt to distract him, could he be ready for a new home? How's he getting on? Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah. Can you have a shower in peace, yeah? <laughs> Just about. I did actually manage to leave my house to pop and get a pint of milk the oh, other day. And he didn't kick off. I heard barking when I first left. Yeah. And then when I came back, it was silent. Oh, um, good. So he's, so he's getting, getting there. But he's uh, got a new home lined up tomorrow. How's he going to be with his new owners, do you think? I think, although he might be a bit unsettled maybe the first day or so. He'll soon settle in with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Woody, it's been nice knowing you. You're one off, definitely, <laughs> isn't he? One of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> and just the next day, it's time for Laura to say her goodbyes. Baby mine, don't you cry. He's such a special dog. Baby so I will definitely miss him when he's gone. Dry your eyes. But I know he's going to a really good home, so that's all that matters. Rest your head close to my heart, never to part. Baby, oh, boy. Oh, Woody, don't you worry. You've got a whole new life waiting for you. Go on, off you go, and good luck. Jasper's also coming on in leaps and bounds. It's been a week since I last saw him. And now he's happily giving up his toys. And he's also learning to be less guarded around his bed. We've been doing a lot more positive association around the bed. So you can see through his body language, he's a lot more relaxed. His tail's up, but it's wagging, and really relaxed with us in his presence as well. Looks like you're ready for a new home, fella. And a month later, Jasper's found a rather special one. Good boy. Should we go on the beach? In Peacehaven on the East Sussex Riviera with Andy and Sharon. What's this? <laughs> Jasper has settled him very, very well, I see. He's been a really good lad. But the big question is... What's this? Is Jasper sharing his toys? He's a good boy. There's no possessing this at all. He kind of realised that they're his permanently. And Jasper also has some new playmates. <laughs> he does like to watch the ferrets during the day. Mm. Just wants to play. Oh. Well, Jasper, it looks like you've charmed everyone. He's lovely. He's, he's not going anywhere. Oh. Now, what is he doing? What is he doing now? I can see clearly now the rain. Back at Battersea, Leah is on the mend after her eye operation. I can see all She's been giving drops twice a day to keep the eye moist and lubricated. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, oh, where's that, Leah? And today I'm on duty to help out, along with vet nurse Emma. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? How's she doing now since she's had her eye off? She's doing really, really well. We're really pleased with how it's healed and how she's done post-surgery. So we just need to give her some eye drops today, some eye lubrication. You're going to have some eye drops, are you? Keep that eye nice and healthy. Now sit down. Sit down for me, Leah. Good girl. That's it. Oh, she's such a good girl. Here she is. Oops. Uh, that's it. Let me rub that in. <laughs> gone in. That's all gone in. That yeah. was perfect. Good girl. And that will stop her getting dry eye after the surgery. Yeah. Is she ready for rehoming now, yeah? Yeah, she's all ready. She's going to rehoming and somebody will snap her up quick. I think whoever gets her is going to be very lucky. <laughs> she's the business, aren't you? You're a very special dog. You know that, though, don't you? And looking for that special dog, are the Beauchamp family from Middlesex. Very oh, excited. Very, very, very excited. Very excited yeah. yeah. Waiting a long time for this. <laughs> yeah. I've been Mr. No. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> sort of 18 years of pressure mm. and I've given in. <laughs> We're just looking forward to the snoring competition yeah. between <laughs> myself and the bulldog at home. <laughs> well, well, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're lovely. Well, Leah, it looks like you've got the thumbs up from most of the family. Oh, wow. But how about Dad? Oh, you're gorgeous, aren't you? <laughs> so I guess that's it. Sold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, so long, Leah. Come on in, let's take her home. Something tells me you're going to be just fine. Brilliant. Sounds like the best day. And in Hertfordshire, Woody has found the perfect match with Barbara and daughter Susie. My favourite thing about Woody is how happy he is. Everyone that meets him seems to love him. Just like me, <laughs> they long to be he definitely likes a routine. He likes to go to bed early, and if we're not in bed early enough, he's not very happy, <laughs> to be honest. And how about the separation anxiety? I work at home and my mum's retired, so he's lucky because we're around a lot. But when we leave Woody at home, he gets a Kong with peanut butter, which is normally then all round his face. Why do birds? Oh. I can't imagine life without Woody. <laughs> Such a good boy. Every time. Oh, he's beautiful. He's just a lovely person, that's what he is. Just like me. You're being a good boy, aren't you? Close to you. Ah, Woody, it looks like your fretting days are over. <laughs>